I'm Lara. Today we'll be doing a gentle flow and restore class. It's a nice mellow class to stretch your body and ending with some deep relaxation. And today I'll be using a pillow. You can, if you have a pillow about this size, kind of like a bolster shape, you can also fold up a blanket like this or a towel um, and just get creative with just what you have at home. And we'll be using that later at the end. So for now, go ahead and get started in a child's pose. And let your knees separate out wide. You can keep your feet touching together. Shift your hips back towards your heels and stretch your arms forward. Let your forehead rest down, let your forearms rest down. And if this isn't the most comfortable for your body, you might take your pillow or blanket and take it behind the knees. And just keep your hips a little bit more lifted as you rest. Just taking the first few moments to let the body rest down towards the earth. And softening down, full breath in and out. And take a full breath in through the nose, through the mouth, let it go. And again, full breath in, let it go through the mouth. One more full breath in through the nose and sigh it out through the mouth. Let it go. And start to rise up onto your hands and knees, nice and gentle. We're going to make a tabletop position. So coming onto all fours, wrists underneath the shoulders with the fingers spreading wide. And your knees and feet are about hip distance apart. And with your inhales, just start to let your belly melt down. Take your gaze forward and open up across the chest, cow pose. Exhale, brow up through the spine into your cat pose. Just continue with the breath. Inhale, opening up through the heart space. Exhale, rounding up through the spine. And a few more rounds of cat and cow, finding this gentle mobility to stretch through the spine, stretch through the shoulders, and feel the way that the arms and legs support the body. And start to come back to neutral, back to all fours. And then just start to shift your shoulders forward of your wrists. And then as you exhale, shift your hips all the way back towards your heels. And we'll rock forward and back a couple more times. Inhale, shifting your shoulders forward beyond your wrists. And exhale, taking the hips back towards your heels. And just one more time. Inhale, gliding forward. Shoulders shift a little bit beyond the wrists. And exhale, shift the hips all the way back towards the heels. And just one more time as you rise up to your hands and knees, tuck your toes, lift your hips all the way up and back to your downward dog. And relax your head and neck down. You can pedal your feet out, bending one knee in at a time. And from here, gently walk your feet all the way up to your hands, coming up to a forward fold at the top of our space. And rise up halfway with a flat spine, drawing the heart forward, shoulders draw back away from the ears. Exhale and fold it back down. And then slowly rise to standing. So start with a gentle bend in your knees. Let your head, neck, and arms remain heavy. We're going to take a slow roll all the way up, stacking one vertebrae on top of the other until you come all the way to stand. Head and neck lengthen up. Feel the shoulders stack over the hips. And then start to turn your palms to face forward. Spread through the fingers wide and just open up through the chest. Feel the grounded energy through the feet. And with your next inhale, circle your arms up and overhead, touch your palms overhead at the top. And exhale, bring your hands to the heart space. And from here, lace up your fingers, turn your palms to press forward. And feel that stretch into the fingers, into the palms, into the wrists. And with your inhale, reach your arms up and overhead, press the earth away. And as you exhale, take a side bend over towards your right side. On your next inhale, press into your feet. Inhale, come up through center. Exhale, up and over towards the left side. Inhale, coming back up through center. And then back over towards the right. I'm going to slowly sweep the arms over towards the right. Sweep your arms down towards the ground. Let them reach over towards the left side, all the way up to the top. And one more big, slow circle over towards the right side. Sweep your arms down. Rising up the left side and all the way back up to the top. 
And as you exhale, open through the elbows, widen across your chest, and then take your hands and lace up your fingers behind the back. And just take a moment here to feel the chest opening up. Draw the arms away from you. Hug the core in. And steady breaths. Try to relax the shoulders away from the ears. And then release the lacing of the fingers, gonna rise back up through the hands, through the arms, lace up the fingers once again overhead, press the palms to face up, and then take a side bend over towards the left side. And continue this big, slow, steady circle, taking the arms down towards the ground, up towards the right side, and all the way back up to the top, and one more big, slow circle. And all the way up to the top. And as you exhale, separate through the elbows, widen across the chest. Inhale, reach your arms back up towards the sky, touch your palms. Exhale, hands to the heart space. And then again, at the top of your mat, circle the arms up, lift up through the body. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold forward. Rise up halfway with a flat spine, fingertips to the shins or knees. Heart pulls forward, shoulders draw back. Try to take the roundness out of the back. Exhale, fold it back down. And then rise all the way up to standing, sweeping arms up, touching palms overhead at the top. Exhale, hands to the heart. And a couple more half salutations. Inhale, lifting up through the arms, through the chest. Exhale, fold forward. Rise up halfway. Exhale and fold. And rise all the way to standing, sweeping arms up and overhead. Exhaling hands to the heart space. And one more round. Inhale, lifting up through the arms, through the fingertips. Exhale and fold forward. And rise up halfway. Exhale and fold back down. And then rise all the way up to standing, sweeping your arms up, touching your palms overhead at the top. With your exhale, bring your hands to the heart space. Inhale, sweeping the arms up, lifting up through the body. And as you exhale, fold forward, let everything go. And rise up halfway, flat spine. And as you exhale, fold and keep your right foot in front. Take a big step back with the ball of your left foot. Set up your feet about hip distance apart. Gently lower your left knee down to your mat. And then lift up through the arms, through the chest, and through the fingertips. You can use your hands to press up to the top of the thigh to lift the chest up right first. And then sweep your arms up alongside the ears. And from here, we'll find these sweeping movements with the breath. So take an inhale. Lengthen up, and as you exhale, just lean your heart forward. Sweep your arms back alongside the body and hug your core in. And again, inhale, sweep the arms up, reaching the palms up. Option to touch your palms if you can keep the shoulders relaxed. Exhale, heart forward, sweep the arms back. And one more with the breath. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, heart forward, sweep the arms back. Inhale, reach your arms back up towards the sky. And then we'll move into a twist. Take your left hand underneath the left shoulder, clamp it down with the fingers pointing forward and keep reaching your right arm up to the sky, gently twisting. You can always stay right here. If you want to activate the back leg a little bit more, tuck your left toes under, lift your left knee up and keep that leg pressing nice and strong. And just from here, gentle mobility into your right shoulder. Circle your right arm towards the back of our space. Sweep it down towards the earth. Bring it forward alongside the ear and all the way back up to the top. And one more big full circle, circling the arm back. Sweep it down, forward and all the way up. And then this time as you circle it back, take your hand back down to your mat. And if you had your left knee lowered, lift it back up. We're going to take a big step forward to the top of our space, folding in. Rise up halfway. Exhale and fold. And then keeping your feet either together or about hip distance apart, we'll come into a chair pose, Utkatasana, bending your knees, lifting up through the arms, lifting up through the chest. And steady breaths here. Just find this nice seat, challenging the legs. Stay with the breath, hugging the core in. Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, twist your arms towards the right and turn your chest towards the right. Inhale, come back up through center. Do that twist, sweep the arms over towards the left. Inhale, back up through center. One more on each side, sweep to the right. Inhale and lift. Exhale, twist towards the left. Inhale and lift. And then press into your feet. We're gonna rise all the way up to stand, touching palms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart space. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Lift up through the body. 
exhale, fold forward, let it all go. Rise up halfway, inhale. Exhale and fold, and then keep your left foot in front. Take a big step back with the ball of your right foot. Gently lower the right knee down. And you can again, again use your hands if you need to press to the top of the thigh. Lift the chest upright, stacking the shoulders over the hips. Start to reach the arms up alongside the ears. And again, here with the breath, take an inhale. Exhale, leaning your heart forward, sweep the arms back. Feel the core hugging in. Inhale, sweeping the arms back up. And again, heart forward, sweep the arms back, strong through the core. Inhale, reach the arms back up to the sky. And one more, heart forward, sweeping the arms back. Inhale, reach the arms up. And then into your twist, opposite side, take your right hand underneath the shoulder. Keep reaching up through the left fingertips. Feel the chest turn open towards the sky. Same thing on this side, you can keep your back knee lowered or tuck your back toes and lift your right knee up. Opening up through the chest. And then start to circle the left arm. So circle your arm towards the back of our space. Keep your chest turning open. Let the arm drop down towards the ground. Sweep it forward alongside the ear and all the way back up. And one more big circle, sweeping the arm back, down, forward, and up. And this time as you sweep the arm back, you're going to take the hand back down to the ground. And if your back knee was lowered down, lift it up. Come back to your forward fold at the top of our space, folding in. Rise up halfway with your flat spine. Exhale and fold it back down. And all the way up to standing, sweeping your arms up, touching your palms overhead at the top of the breath. And exhaling hands to the heart space. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up, lift up halfway. And as you exhale, fold, keep your right foot in front. Take a big step back with the ball of your left foot. And from here, you're going to walk your hands and pivot your feet over towards the left side. Make your feet parallel, pointing towards the side of your mat. Come up high into your fingertips and draw the heart forward. And then as you exhale, you'll hinge up the hips and fold your chest in. You can just plant your palms down. You can hold the outer edges of the calves or the ankles. Relax your head and neck. It's fine to have the tiniest bend in your knees so you're not overstretching the hamstrings. And also just feel the weight in your feet shift a little bit more forward towards the balls of the feet. So you're not sitting all the way into the heels and feel how that makes your hamstrings turn on. And if you feel like your shoulders are hanging down towards your ears, feel them lift up and away from the ears so you create space for the upper back and neck. A couple more breaths here. So come up halfway, bring the fingertips back underneath the shoulders. Now rotate your toes a little bit out towards the corners of our space. Start to bend into your left knee, into the side lunge. Walk your hands a little bit more towards the back of the mat. Come back up through center, and then bend into your right knee, side lunge towards the front of our space. And now come back up through center, bend into your left knee. Come back through center. And then turn your toes to point all the way forward and re-bend into your right knee. So here, back into a lunge. Have your feet about hip distance apart. Keep your back heel lifted up. And then start to balance, rise up through the arms and through the chest, high crescent lunge. And take an inhale here. Exhale, heart forward, sweep your arms back. And again, inhale, sweeping the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, heart forward, sweep the arms back. One more inhale and lift. And then as you exhale, slowly twist open, guiding your left hand underneath the shoulder and keeping your right arm lifting up. You can keep your back knee lifted. You can always lower it down. Take one more big circle through the arm. Take an inhale, stretch up through the right fingertips. As you exhale, circle it towards the back of our space, down towards the ground. Reach it forward alongside the ear and all the way back up. You're going to circle it all the way down to your mat. Plant your palms down, step it back to your plank position. Inhale, shift forward to plank, shoulders over your wrists. And then gently lower your knees down. Lean your heart forward and slowly lower all the way to the belly, keeping your elbows hugging in nice and slow. Toes point back, press the tops of the feet down, bring your hands by the low ribs. And with your inhale, lift the heart, Cobra Bhujangasana. Exhale, release your chest back down. 
two more times. Inhale, opening through the heart and gently release. One more with the breath, opening up. Exhale, gently release. Engage your core. Press up through your hands and knees. Tuck your toes, lift your hips all the way up and back to your downward dog. And just breathe in your downward dog. If your hamstrings are on the tighter side, it might be better to bend your knees a little bit. Your heels won't touch the ground all the way. If you have that tightness, try to relax your head and neck between the arms. Feel the extension of the spine. Take one more breath in and out. You start to walk your feet all the way forward up to your hands, coming back to a forward fold at the top of our space. Rise up halfway. Exhale, fold it back down. And rise all the way up to standing. Sweep your arms out and around. Touch your palms overhead at the top of the breath. And with your exhale, bring your hands down to the heart space. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. And as you exhale, fold forward. And rise up halfway, flat spine. Exhale and fold, and then keep your left foot in front. Take a big step back with the ball of your right foot. Walk your hands, pivot your feet over towards the opposite side of your mat. Make your feet parallel towards the side. Lengthen through the spine, draw the heart forward. And as you exhale, hinge up the hips and fold in. Back to this wide-legged forward fold. Keep your head and neck nice and loose. Again, you can bring your hands to the calves or the ankles. You can shift the weight a little bit forward. And steady breath, feeling the shoulders lift up and away from the ears. And bring the fingertips back underneath the shoulders, starting to rise up halfway. And then from here, with your chest lifted, take the heels in, toes out. Start to bend your knees gently. Engage your core, and then keep your knees bent as you circle the arms up and overhead, touch your palms overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart space. And again, inhale, sweeping the arms up, touch your palms. As you exhale, hands to the heart, see if you can sit your hips down a little bit more. And one more time, sweeping the arms up. Hands to the heart, maybe you can sit down a little bit deeper. And then press your legs straight, sweep the arms all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Turn your toes back to parallel, pointing straight towards the side wall. Take your hands to the hips, fold forward gently. Bring your hands down. We're going to walk it back towards the front of our space, back into your lunge. Now keeping your right heel lifted up, feet are about hip distance apart. We'll rise up to our high crescent, sweep up through the arms, through the chest, through the fingertips, finding that lift. Exhale, sweep the heart forward, reach the arms back. And again, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, heart forward, sweep the arms back. And one more time, inhale, sweeping the arms up. And as you exhale, start to bring your right hand underneath the shoulder. Keep your left arm up towards the sky, finding that big open twist. One big full circle with the left arm. Circle it towards the back of our space. Let it float down towards the ground, reach it forward alongside the ear, all the way back up. And circle it back and take your hand to the ground. Step it back to your downward dog, lifting the hips all the way up and back. And from your downward dog, take a full breath in. And through the mouth, let it go. Just gently start to walk your feet all the way forward to your hands, heading back up to the top of our space. Rise up halfway with a flat spine, lengthening the heart forward. Exhale and fold it back down. And again, gently bend your knees. Let your head, neck, and arms hang heavy. Slowly rise all the way up to standing. Just as we did earlier, letting the vertebrae stack on top of each other one by one. Coming up to stand, gazing forward, standing up tall. And here we'll work on a little bit of balance. So start to balance on your right foot and see if you can bring your left knee up towards your chest. If your hips are on the tighter side, maybe you just hold the back of the thigh. Your knee might be about the level of the hip. Find energy in your left foot. So keep this foot flexed instead of just letting it hang down, keeping it flexed. And then 
then release the hands from around the leg if you have them there. Bring your hands to the heart. And then gently turn your left knee open towards the side. And try it. You can use your hand if you need to bring the foot to the inner thigh. If that's too much, you can also place your foot onto your calf or even bring the ball of the foot onto the ground and balance the heel onto the ankle. This is your version of this tree pose, standing up tall out of your right leg. And just finding your balance, finding your breath. Option to reach the arms up, split the arms, growing the branches of the tree. And if you have your arms open, start to touch your palms back together. Bring the hands in front of the heart space. And then turn your left knee to face forward once again and just gently sit your foot back down onto your mat. You can just step it out. You can rock forward and back a couple of times on your feet. Release any tension that's built up there. And then feel your balance shift onto your left foot. Bring your right knee about to the level of the hip or higher. Again, you can hug around the knee, hands behind the thigh. If it's too much, you don't even have to use your hands. Keep your foot flexed. And practice this tall spine, standing tall out of your left leg, opening up across the heart space. And you can bring your palms to touch in front of the heart. And then gently open your right knee out towards the right. You can bring the foot onto the calf, onto the inner thigh, or set the ball of the foot onto the ground, your version of tree pose. Just make sure you're placing this foot above or below the knee instead of placing the pressure directly onto the knee. And if you did this on the other side, or if you want to try it on this side, start to reach the arms up. You can open the arms out and find that extension of balance up through the fingertips. And if you reached the arms up, touch your palms overhead, bring your hands back to the heart space, and gently turn your right knee back forward again, step it down onto your mat. And just wiggle it out, you can walk your feet out. And take one more inhale, sweeping the arms up. With your exhale, fold forward, letting it go. Rise up halfway. Exhale and fold. Walk your feet back to your downward dog. Pressing the hips up and back. Gently lower your knees down, shift your hips back towards your heels into your child's pose. Let your forehead rest, let your forearms rest. And gently rest and relax the body towards the earth into the same shape that we started in. Feel the tension in the face and the shoulders release, let your belly soften. Take another full breath in and a full breath out. And use your hands to gently press yourself up to seated just for a moment. We're going to get into our first restorative position and it's gonna be a fetal position on your favorite side to lay on. Right or left, you choose. And if you have your bolster or your pillow or your blanket, you can take it in between the thighs, in between the legs to create a little bit more support. And reach your arm towards the back of our space. Set your head on top of the arm. And then your top arm can rest on top of the side body. You can let it relax onto the ground in front of the belly. You can gently let it wrap behind the back. Or just feel out what's comfortable in the body. And if this is too much pressure on your shoulder or on your neck, you can also use that pillow or blanket underneath the head instead to get yourself to take the weight off of the shoulder. So find a comfortable shape. Our restorative practice is all about feeling comfortable and relaxed. And when we get into our restorative practice, we'll hold each position for several minutes. It's a very simple practice in theory. Sometimes it becomes challenging to allow ourselves to find stillness. We notice the thoughts that are happening in our mind. We can easily get distracted or want to move on from this part of the practice. 
there's so much benefit to allowing yourself to rest, allowing yourself to slow down. So as you lay here, feel free to let your eyes rest closed. Notice if there's anything that you could adjust to make yourself a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more supported. And then once you find your most comfortable shape where you can just rest fully, stay there. And remember what it feels like to be relaxed. Can you think about a time when you felt very relaxed? Maybe you were on a vacation or a break from work and you didn't have responsibilities and it seemed like you could just pick up your feet, take your time to do things, no hurry, no worry. And that essence of relaxation, can you bring it into this shape and into this practice? Allow yourself more time for stillness and ease without putting too much effort in the body, allowing yourself to be supported, allowing yourself to rest. be here for several more breaths. Notice what your mind is drawn to. You can scan through the body and slowly release, release tension from head to toe. Make your next few breaths a little bit more mindful without moving your body or changing your shape. Can you just bring your awareness back to the breath? Can you feel the rhythm of the breath expanding and deflating the lungs, the belly, the chest? And take a fuller breath in through the nose and through the mouth, sigh it out. And without rushing to get out of this shape, slowly moving out of it, and gently using your hands and your arms to press yourself up. Next, we're going to take your pillow or your blanket or your bolster, whatever you have. Bring it on the left side of your mat, length, along the length of the mat, about halfway down. And we're going to come down onto our bellies. And you'll open your left knee out towards the left, almost like you're making a little half frog leg. And let the knee all the way down to the foot press onto the bolster or whatever prop you're using. You can rest your chest to face down and then turn onto your right cheek. You can stack your hands underneath the side of your head so you can keep the arms separated out. You can reach your right arm back alongside the body with your palm facing up so that right shoulder can relax. And feel your belly soften, feel your face soften. And just stay right here. And just so that you can see, I'm going to stand up and pretend that in front of me is my mat. You would look a little bit like this. Your left knee is out to the side, your left arm is out to the side, your right arm is relaxed alongside the body, or your hands are underneath the head here, turning onto your cheek. 
just getting that gentle hip opening and resting down towards the earth. So again, in the first few moments, can you adjust your body anyway to make yourself feel a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more supported? Maybe you move your bolster or pillow higher, lower, closer or further away from the body. Maybe you widen your arms out so you have more space in the neck and shoulders. You can simply let your eyes relax, close, bring your awareness back to the breath. And let yourself melt in. There's so much benefit to this practice of slowing down and letting go. And it's in that state of relaxation that we brought our mind to that our body feels at ease. And when our body feels at ease, our body changes from the inside out. The hormones change. Our state of mind changes. And the state of relaxation and rest helps to promote healing and growth and immunity. And it's when our body is in constant stress and constant motion that we don't give ourselves time to rest that our immune system weakens, we can get sick more, we can feel more tired and run down. A simple practice of letting your body lay down on the floor, feel supported, can undo that. So let yourself enjoy without feeling like you need to be anywhere else. Just present with the body, present with the breath. And again, without rushing to get out of the shape, just taking a fuller breath in and a fuller breath out, being more mindful of the breath. So from here, stay on your belly. Extend your left leg back. So let your legs and your hips ground back down onto the earth. And you can pass your bolster either behind you or in front of the head to bring it to the other side of the mat. Turn onto the opposite cheek. You can do that half goal pose with your right arm. Open your right knee out towards the right. And adjust the bolster as needed to get that half frog leg shape onto the bolster. You can Stretch your left arm back alongside the body with your palm gently facing up. And then can you soften your face and soften the belly? And again, just allow yourself to melt down into the earth. Gently check in with your body. Are there still places holding tension or tightness? Is there anywhere you can invite more ease and rest and relaxation? You 
can again practice body scan from head to toe. As you scan through your body slowly from head to toe, from every part of the body into a more relaxed state. We'll be here for several more breaths. And remember, allow yourself to remember what it feels like to be calm. And if it helps you to get to that state, remember what it feels like to be upset about something. And then remember what it seems like to get that feeling where that goes away. Remember what it feels like to be calm, to have that sense of presence and focus, confidence and wisdom in your actions and in your thoughts and just in your being, having that calm demeanor calm presence. That sense of peace. And bring that into the last few breaths here. Take a fuller breath in, through the mouth, let it go. And stay here a little bit longer, again, just letting yourself get mindful of the breath. And finding gentle movement, extend your right leg all the way back. For now, your hips and your legs are grounded onto the ground. You can match your arms like that bull pose shape. And if your hips grounded, just shift your hips side to side. Feel the rocking of the body for a little bit. And bring your head through center, chin or forehead onto the mat. Press your palms by your chest and shift all the way back to your child's pose. Coming back to this pose that we've done a couple times already. Resting your hips back, stretching your chest forward. Keep your arms active now. Stretch the arms forward, press into the palms so that they stay lifted off the earth. One more full breath in. Inside out. Walk your hands back to gently press yourself up to seated. We'll turn back towards the front of our space and set up for our final resting pose, Shavasana. And since you have your blanket or your bolster, you can slide it underneath your knees for a little bit more support. You can always use your props in any other way to make yourself more comfortable. You can place the bolster underneath your spine. You can cover up with your blanket. Maybe you use your blanket or a bolster as a little pillow. And let your arms stretch away from the body. Let your legs open up just a bit so that your feet are naturally resting out to the side. Feel your face soften, feel your eyes relax, close. And before our deepest rest, coming back to the breath, and we'll take a few rounds of deep, full breaths in and out. 
Let's close out our practice. Take a big, full breath in through the nose. Expand through the lungs fully and pause at the top of your breath. Hold the breath in. See if you can sip, sip in a little bit more air. And slowly sigh it out through the mouth. Let it go. We'll do that breath a couple more times. Full breath in through the nose, expanding through the belly, ribs, chest, pausing at the top of the breath. Again, hold the breath in at the top and sip in a little bit more air. And extending the length of the exhale, slowly release it out through the mouth, let it go. And one more together. Full breath in. Biggest inhale of the day. Expand through the lungs fully, pausing at the top of the breath. And again, sip in a little bit more air at the top. Sigh it out through the mouth, let it go. And with your exhale, feel that full sense of relief. Letting go of all effort in the physical body, letting the mind relax fully. And bringing that gentle scan through the body from head to toe. Feeling your face soften, feeling the eyes rest back. And feeling the jaw relax. Shoulders are heavy, belly soft, hips heavy. And press all the way down through the arms, into the fingers, all the way down through the legs, into the toes. Allowing yourself to receive all the benefits of your practice. Find this time to reconnect to stillness. sound of Om is said to encompass all sounds of the universe. A reminder that we're all connected, we're all one. And if you'd like to stay longer in your Shavasana, please do. Take as long as you'd like, as long as you need today. And if you're ready to close up your practice, take your time, Bring some gentle movements into your fingers and toes. And take a fuller breath in and out, allowing your breath to gently reawaken the body. Still keeping your eyes relaxed, close on your next inhale. Reach your arms all the way back behind you and find that nice, long, luxurious stretch from end to end. And gently bend your knees up, planting the feet down onto the earth. Roll over into your fetal position. You can do the same side that you did earlier or a different side. Find again that grounded support. And find gratitude for your strong and healthy body. Thank yourself for practicing self-care and self-love. Thank yourself for valuing rest and relaxation to restore and heal the body. And we'll close the practice right here. Take another full breath in through the nose. And sigh it out through the mouth. Let it all go. And I thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste. Namaste.